In this video, we'll cover six important areas for you to better understand these differences. General site policies, PPE or personal protective equipment, Castellian check-in and check-out procedures, coil inspection, flatbed loading and side kit procedures, Conestoga and van loading procedures. General site policies. The speed limit at Castellian is 15 miles per hour outdoors and six miles per hour indoors or as otherwise posted. When driving inside the plant, drivers are required to obey all traffic signs. When coming to a stop sign, you must make a complete stop. Before proceeding, make sure to look both ways. In areas with low or no visibility, such as corners, slow down before making your way around. Cell phone use, including emailing or texting, while driving is strictly prohibited. When operating vehicles within our facilities, please be aware of mobile equipment and pedestrians. Seatbelts must be used at all times. Headlights or flashing lights are required to be on at all times when operating vehicles indoors. Pedestrians must remain at least 15 feet from mobile equipment at all times. Drivers must always use designated doors or walkways whenever available. Never walk under roll-up doors. Pedestrians must avoid being in mixed traffic areas unless their presence is absolutely necessary. Personal protective equipment. All contractors and truck drivers must provide their own PPE. At Constellium, the following personal protective equipment is required to be worn at all times. Hard hat, safety glasses with side shields. Hearing protection must be worn at all times when inside manufacturing areas. High visibility shirt, vest, or jacket, which must be ANSI Class 2 requirements. Closed toe shoes must be worn at all times when outside of the vehicle. In addition to the required PPE, the following PPE is required for contractors and visitors and strongly recommended for truck drivers. Sleeved shirt, steel toed shoes, long pants. Sandals and other simple shoes are not allowed. Shorts and sleeveless shirts are not permitted to be worn on site. Absolutely no tobacco of any kind is allowed, and this includes chewing tobacco or dip. The use of electronic cigarettes is also prohibited on site. Check in, check out procedures. Check in and consulting is simple. To check in, the following five items are required proper PPE, photo ID, trailer number, coil securement card, load number. When checking in, be sure to have your trailer number and Constellium Securement Card available for the guard. You must have both of these to get on Constellium property. The guard will contact you and tell you where to go. Once you're on the property, check in with a dock checker and a door will be assigned. Be sure to verify the load number and the destination with the dock checker. The dock checker will then assign the number of coils for your truck. Back up to the assigned dock and you're ready to load. Use the painted guidelines to back the trailer in as straight as possible. This will allow the fall protection platforms to provide the best protection. Fall protection platforms must be extended and locked in place before securing the load. Trailer beds must only be accessed directly from the loading dock with fall protection platforms in place. Never access the bed without this protection. To activate the fall protection platform, pull on the black knob located on the platform and adjust the platform to where it's the closest to your trailer bed. Always be aware of footing and surroundings and pay close attention to any gaps between the trailer bed and the fall protection platform. Coil inspection. 
Aluminum coils are extremely valuable, and although heavy, they are also extremely fragile. Damage to a single layer of a coil can cost thousands of dollars. Here's where we need your help, making sure our coils arrive at their destination completely free of damage. Once the fall protection platform is secure, you may then access the trailer bed and inspect the coil for damage. Specifically look for torn plastic, bare metal, dents or dings in the coil. Add your corner damage to the coil, loose wrap or pallet damage. Surprisingly, something as simple as moisture can ruin an aluminum coil. Be sure to check the coil for moisture or condensation beneath the plastic wrap. If you see any moisture at all, bring it to the attention of the dock checker immediately. If you find any damage, go to the dock station immediately and have it verified by the dock checker or supervisor. The damaged coil will either be swapped out or repaired. It is very important that all coils on your trailer leave the dock completely free of damage. When you sign your bill of lading, you are certifying that you have received a coil that is completely free of damage. If the damage is noted on the receiving end, you are responsible for that damage. So, it is important to ensure that there is no damage to the coil before leaving the Constellium site. As a driver, you have the right to request a supervisor to inspect any damage you find on the coil. If you cannot locate the supervisor, you may contact the guard gate for assistance. Flatbed loading, tarping stations, and ladders. If you're driving a side kit, be sure to back your trailer into the tarping station prior to breaking down the side kits. Once your trailer is fully inside the tarping station, you may begin to break down the side kits. Once all the side kits are completely broken down, access the ladder on the tarping station to get down. Never jump off the tarping station or trailer beds. Ladders or stairs must always be used to access the stations. Beware of footing and surroundings and always check for tripping hazards. You may now pull out of the tarping station and back your truck into the dock. Place the anti-skid mats on the deck to guide the placement of the coils onto your trailer. While coils are being loaded, the driver must remain safely at least 15 feet from the load. The driver must not be on the trailer bed while it's being loaded. Truck drivers must use a designated waiting area. After the coils are loaded onto the truck, inspect them thoroughly. If there is damage, bring it to the attention of the dock checker. Truck drivers are prohibited from standing on the trailer beds unless they are within the tarping stations. This includes when you are strapping, tarping, placing belt protectors, or any other activity that requires you to be on the truck bed. If you are on the truck bed, you must be in the tarping station. Ladders must be inspected before use. Never climb the ladder if you notice damage or the ladder is broken or bent. If you notice damage to a ladder, please contact a Constellium supervisor immediately. If there is no damage to the coil, go to the dock shack and sign the bill of lading. Before leaving the dock, secure the coils to the trailer with one center strap. Once again, aluminum is not steel and strapping it requires a slightly different handling. First, walk the straps over the coil Never throw the strap. The metal clips and even the strap ends themselves can severely damage an aluminum coil when thrown. It only takes a minute or so to walk them over, but it will prevent damage to the coil, which will get you back on the road that much quicker. Second, do not use plastic or steel edge protectors. Plastic and steel edge protectors can actually cause damage to the coil. Use felt edge protectors instead. Felt edge protectors can be provided by the dock checker. 3. Properly tighten the straps. Proper means, leave no slack, but don't bend the edge of the coil either. When each coil has one strap secured, you're ready to move your truck to the tarping stations. In the event of inclement weather, 
Truck drivers are required to use the inside docks to secure the load and not the outside tarping stations. Once in the tarping station, secure and tarp all the coils to your trailer. When tarping, do not use bungee cords that have direct contact with the coil. Use ropes instead. A bungee cord can do major damage to a coil. If the tarping bungee will have no possible contact with the coil, it's a good idea to turn the open end of the hook facing away from the coil. Cover and wrap the coils completely. In transit, it is very important to keep the coil dry. The tarp must cover and wrap the load completely, preventing any water or moisture from getting to the coil and allows your package to dry without the Before exiting, you must check out at the guard station. Conestoga and van loading. Conestoga and van loading procedures are very similar. Check in with the dock checker at the dock station. Back your trailer halfway into the dock. Open your trailer doors and back the trailer completely into the dock. Please use the dock locks. To activate the dock locks, pull on the chain. Position the anti-skid mats on the trailer. The truck driver must then exit the trailer while the coil is being loaded. Truck drivers are not allowed to be inside the trailer while coils are being loaded. Once the forklift completely exits the trailer after loading, the truck driver may then re-enter the trailer to position any additional skid mats on the trailer. As with the other loading procedures, check the coil for any damage. If there is damage, bring it to the attention of the dock checker immediately. If the coils are free of damage, secure all straps to the rings of the floor of the van. and tighten the straps to prevent any coil damage. Get paperwork from the dock checker and sign the bill of lading. Pull up and close your doors. Move your truck to the area beside the tarping station. Use the Constellian provided ladder to access your trailer to put additional straps on the coils per DOT guidelines. Once the coils are secured, check out at the guard station. Conestoga loading is similar to van loading. Conestogas will station near the tarping station area. When accessing Conestogas, you must utilize a constellian provided ladder. Never use a damaged ladder. If you notice a ladder with damage, please notify constellian personnel immediately. With just a few simple steps, your load can arrive safely and without damage. So remember, one, walk the straps over. Two, use felt edge protectors, not steel or plastic. Three, Properly tighten down loads. Four, don't use bungees to tie down tarps. If there's any chance they will rub against the coil, use ropes. Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you down the road.